four important steps to selecting the right screen. First one, screen size. How big should the screen be? Probably the most important part because you need the people in the back of the room to be able to see it. Once you figured out how high the thing should be, then the next question is what aspect ratio? Well, Mike touched on that already, but let's show you the differences to the sun here. 4.3 is the aspect ratio that's been out there for about the last 60 years. Your television sets up until just recently were 4.3. The computers when they came out, the VGA format for a number of years was not exactly 4.3, but very close to a 4.3 aspect ratio. Well, when you go with the computer signal, you're getting a 16.10 aspect ratio. It's a little bit wider. When you go with 16.9, which is the home theater format, like <coughs> I definition, all sorts of names, but typically they all refer to those as 16.9, which is a little bit wide. Okay, front or rear projection. Is one better than the other? Mm -hmm. Somebody say rear projection. <coughs> you're right, rear projection. So the question is, why is rear better? Well, if you're doing rear projection, let's say this scenario, there's our screen, the projector instead of being here at the front, is behind the screen. And now I've got the lights hitting the screen, sort of spreading it out, but a fairly high percentage of the light rays are going directly into the audience of the eyes. At the same time, the ambient light that's in this room, instead of bouncing off of the screen, is going to pass through the screen. If I'm doing front projection, First of all, my light's striking the screen, light rays are bouncing all over the place. A smaller percentage are going into your eyes. And the ambient light is now bouncing off. The three basic types of screens, electric, manual, and fixed. One of the things you have to be concerned about if you're going up in the ceiling or on stage or something like that, uh, the end-mounted type of motor as opposed to a motor and roller. Motor and roller type of thing, and of course it's getting cut off. The screen basically ends here. The motor is actually physically inside the tube, as opposed to an end-mounted type of motor. The motor's over here.